In this video, I'm going to spin Esmeralda's prayer so you can see the sort of loot that you could expect to get. Also, I've done some math around the expected value so you can figure out whether or not it's worth spending gems on this or if you think that buying the bundle is worth it. So stick around in this video for everything you need to know. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskool Gaming, and in this video, I'm going to review the Spring Fever Bundle and talk about this Esmeralda's Prayer. And I'll jump right to the punchline here, which is that I've done the math on the Spring Fever Bundle, and this bundle, once you get to the $100 tier, actually has less speed-ups than other bundles that you might consider buying. In fact, since I've actually bought all the way up to the $100 tier for this uh, Osiris League bundle, you can see the big difference here at the $100 tier is right there in the three-hour speed-ups. That's really the main difference from a speed-up standpoint. And by the way, the grand total of speed-ups in the Osiris bundle is about 65 days, whereas in the Spring Fever bundle, you're looking at a grand total of about 55 days worth of speed-ups. So this bundle has obviously more speed-ups than what you would see in your typical Super Value bundles, but less than what you would see in your typical Holiday bundles, which means the developers are placing an above-average value on these coins right over here, Esmeralda's Wishing Coins. In fact, in case you were interested in every tier of the bundle, here is the $5 bundle, the $10 bundle, the $20 bundle, and last but not least, the $50 bundle. You can buy that $100 bundle three times. Now, I went and I purchased these so that I could go and spin Esmeralda's Prayer. And I actually went in advance and I did a little bit of math around the probabilities of these items dropping and what their VIP shop value might be. Now, if you actually wanted all of the things that are on this wheel, without including the special prize tier, I felt like the probability of getting those things is just so low. So if we just remove those from the equation and we say, what is the value to me of all these different things on here? And if I use the VIP shop value, you actually want all of these things in this inside layer. Um, every single spin on average is worth about 700 gems. And the thing that really weights the value up is the Universal Legendary Commander Sculptures, which at VIP shop prices are worth about 2,000 gems a pop. Now, for my account in particular, I said, you know what? I don't need the gold keys. I don't need those star sculptures. So for me, every one of these spins is worth about 500 gems of value. And again, the thing that's a little bit weird about this is that we're talking about VIP shop value and there's no tiered reward just for spinning. Now, I think the developers offset the fact that there's no tiered reward with the fact that you can get some number of these for free. And before everybody jumps in and says like, hey, bro, the 7,000 gem event is better, like, believe me, I understand that the 7,000 gem event is a lot better from a free-to-play rewards standpoint because you get guaranteed rewards that you can grind. You can go and get, I think, in the realm of like 60 of these coins, uh, just free-to-play, playing the game every single day, doing things you probably would have been doing anyways. In fact, probably more than 60 of these coins is what you're going to end up getting. So at least you'll get some number of spins for free. And what can you expect from 60 spins? I mean, I don't know. Let's just uh, spin this a couple times myself and see how it goes and see what we think of it. So here we go. We're spinning this sucker. And if I understand correctly, if you get all of the special prize tiers, you get everything else on the wheel. And for those of you who didn't know how to read this thing, because it took me a minute, this dial points to the loot that you're going to get. And this number on the inside is the number of each of these loot items that is available. And once one of these loot items runs out, your chances of getting it are ultimately going to change. So, I mean, let's just spin this thing. And I should say that the math I did earlier is accurate at the start of this thing, but once you start actually getting loot from it, theoretically, the probabilities could change if the item is no longer there. Whatever, let's just spin and have some fun, shall we? So here we go. Spinning for the first time on my main account, we get hey, an eight hour speed up. I mean, that's kind of cool, but it's actually only worth like 240 gems to me. So really, I've got to be getting legendary commander sculptures for this to be gangbuster. I'm going to up it to three pointers a pop. And by the way, if you wanted more of those coins, you could purchase them right over here for 1,200 gems a pop, which to me, that feels really expensive. And I would not recommend doing based on the math I did. Boom. So I spent three of those and each of these items 
is like, uh, I mean, I don't need the gold key. Trading speeds are good, but like I wouldn't pay 500 gems for those things or 1,200 gems or, you know, whatever you, you think the value of one of these coins is. Like I have to be getting the legendary commander sculptures for this thing to actually start to give me proper value. And now we're talking. Two legendary commander sculptures and a bundle of dazzling starlights. Okay. Sick. Let's spin it again, shall we? Woo! Three at a time. And watch those coins disappear. The resources in eight hour speed and a universal. Hey, universals are good. Okay. Let's spin this thing again, shall we? What do we get? Looking at... Ah. So this is the other thing that I rated at, at maybe higher value than than probably you would. The VIP shop price for the legendary Blueprint Fragment is about 1,500 gems. But you can get that for way cheaper just by doing the Egg Event, which shows up periodically, depending on how many of those you're sort of uh, interested in getting. Like if you just do the Egg Event to 10, you can get five of those for pretty cheap. But anyways, I got an Equipment Material Choice Chest, a Legendary Commander Sculpture, and that Blueprint uh, choice chest. I mean, <laughs> this is what I would need every one of my spins to look like to be like, oh man, I am buying the heck out of this bundle. Anyways, here we go. Spin this thing again. And what do we get? Okay, mm that's a pretty bad one for me. Gold key, I don't need. Resource chest, like, okay, 200,000 gold or whatever it is. And uh, the bundle of Dazzling Starlight Sculptures. This is pretty low value for me personally. In fact, basically zero value, almost. All right, spin it again. Come on, we could do better. So far, you can see I haven't gotten any of the special prize here. And honestly, like, I don't expect I will get special prize here. The chances are so low. So uh, there is three eight-hour speed-ups. I'll take it. Spin this thing again. I've got six spins remaining. And how did we do? Two legendary commander sculptures and a gold key. Okay. Hey, I like, I like legendary commander sculptures. Um, and in the grand scheme of things, see, this aspect of this bundle is kind of interesting. Although I am getting many days less speed-ups compared to other holiday or event bundles, the thing that is really good is that I didn't need gold keys in that other bundle. I was, you know, looking at uh, the Osiris bundle, but I actually am getting value from these items over here. So that's something that's worth considering. Speed-ups for gold heads. I mean, I'd probably take the gold heads pretty much any day of the week. Oh, God. Okay. So I have almost run this wheel out of bundles of dazzling starlight sculptures. Like, there actually might not be many left. I can't see. Uh, okay, there's one left. And then, theoretically, the probability of getting things will actually change. But I'll have to find out what that looks like on another day. Here you can see I got the pick one resource chest, the equipment material choice crate, and the training speed ups. And that's all of my coins. So in the grand scheme of things, um, obviously the 7,000 gem event is just guaranteed value for basically everybody. And I very much enjoy the 7,000 gem event. If you don't know what I'm talking about, by the way, I'll have a card up in the top for what one of those looks like. So if the developers are choosing between giving us this and giving us the 7,000 gem event, I would pick the 7,000 gem event literally any day of the week. And my hope, is that this event is something that we'll see maybe in the rotation for holiday events, but not as a replacement for the 7,000 gem event. I really hope that that's the case. Because if we go and we just get a look again at these bundles, we just very briefly compare. The trade-off here is a grand total, if you were even buying to the $100 tier, of 10 days worth of speed-ups. And if you wanted this bundle, you're getting more gold keys and... A bunch of gold stars versus the possibility of universal legendary commander sculptures ultimately getting a city theme uh and a bunch of other things that are probably under value although the equipment crates are good and also the material crates are great so this is a weird choice to have to make i guess between the two this is weird but i actually think that i would take this bundle because, again, unless you really are gunning for gold key commanders, which I'm not at this point, I mean, all of that is zero value for me, which, okay, okay yeah, I have a three-year-old account in a whale kingdom that has been in whale alliances all along, so I've been getting more than my share of gold keys, so, I don't know, maybe that that skews what I, what I think is value here, 
Um, but if you didn't need the goalkeys and you didn't actually need the stars, then this is an interesting alternative. Yes, you're trading off 10 days of speed ups for the possibility of gold heads. And man, I think gold heads are what you pick any day of the week. The recharge event is here as well, by the way. So this is something you can do over some number of days. I love that they dropped a skill reset in here. And the uh, gold heads are on day two, day four, and also day five. If you enjoyed this video, throw a like on here and consider subscribing. Also, if you want to see where I did the math uh, and I'll update it if I made a mistake, you can check out the link in the description. That'll take you to the ROK toolkit that I've made. It's a Google sheet that's got some basic math that I've done. You don't need editing rights to it to be able to just look at it. And you can see, I mean, for every event, what I think the gem value is and more. And until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies.